Hey, this is Alan. Thanks for checking out part 9. In part 8, we just went to the librarian, Ms. Bodley, and uh, she gave us some quests, and uh, we just needed to learn the bridge spell for our first quest, and we left off waiting for that bridge spell to get created or researched. So now that that's done, I'm going to go over here and get it. Hey there. If we are to develop the bridge spell, you'll need to give the order for the research to begin, your majesty. Roland will be able to tell you more. Okay, I gave the order, so can we buy it now? Let's see. I don't see the bridge spell here. We will go to research. Efficient spell development. Info on how to research magic more efficiently, reducing cost by 20%. Oh, there it is. Specific spell development. Let's do it. And that will take... Not too long. Alright, let's check out where the bridge spell is now. Manage your kingdom. Research completed. All right, we have the bridge spell now. We should be able to go buy it. Thank you. Thank you so much for finding out how to cast bridge, Lily. Now we can make pathways wherever we want. No, no, Master Evan, you misunderstand. Not simply anywhere. The spell uncovers hidden pathways. It does not create them. You must find a place where it seems a path should be and you must cast it there. Have you ever stood somewhere and thought, where is the path? Is it missing? You must seek out such a place. Oh, that's not how I thought it worked at all. Ah, uh, but did you not need the spell in order to help Mistress Bodley? She's not someone that I would choose to keep waiting. Gosh. Gosh, you're right. We better go and find that rose for her. Thank you, Lily. Ah, uh, she can wait. I'm going to research some more spells while we go on our adventure. Research. Can we do level two yet? Kingdom, level two or more. What about this one? Yep. All right. Awesome. Let's take a warp back over here. And you know what? I tried to upgrade the town and I noticed that we were really missing a lot of people. We have like seven, eight people right now. We could definitely use some more people so we can collect more resources, uh, so we can upgrade a lot of the armor and weapons and we don't even have enough people in the shop so we don't have enough IQ points. So there's a lot of explanation marks on these maps. I'm hoping these are people we can recruit. If you require weapons, please speak with the shopkeeper. I cannot help you. Come now, newbie. <laughs> newbie. <laughs> Newbie. Surely it is time for you to try making your first weapon at last. You're a weapon maker? That's wonderful. Uh, well, my training is not yet complete. My grandmother was a weapon maker, you see, and I was her apprentice until she passed away. I should find a new master, but I do not have the enthusiasm. The shopkeeper here has taken me under his wing, but in truth, I am worthless. Hmm. That's terrible. I understand how hard it must have been for you. But I'm sure your grandmother would have wanted you to continue your studies and become a weapon maker like her. In fact, why don't you come to my kingdom so you can do just that? Oh. Yes. Well, well, Nubai, this is an interesting offer. What do you think? Would you like to go to this kind young man's kingdom? Hmm. Yes, yes, I think I would, but there's a favor I would like to ask of you first. My grandmother loved nothing more than to see her weapons used in the defeat of ferocious monsters, but there is one monster she never saw beaten, though she always dreamed of it. I think it would help her rest in peace if this monster was eliminated. Hmm. I'm sure that's something we can help you with. The beast is known as Mag... Manimus. He roams the land near this kingdom. Please, you must see that it is defeated at last. Sounds good. Yep, we'll make this our active quest. Alright. So we have to go somewhere outside of this kingdom and find this beast. A lot of quests. I'm guessing just about every single person is going to want something from me. They're never like, hey, you're offering me an opportunity to open up a brand new weapon shop for free where I can make tons of money. Nope. 
beat this monster first. Like, dude, we just offered you a weapon shop, man. And you're not even good at making weapons yet. We are gonna work on your skills, make you better. All right, let's take a look at the map. Is there a specific location? All right, we have a little bit of a trip. N near here? He said near here, right? That does not seem near here. All right, it's cool. We could use a little leveling up. How do I get there? Oh, going the wrong way. That would help. Can I warp near there? No, no warp points. Okay. Leave me alone, Grimchella. Dude! Ha! Mango Goo, he wants a piece of this. Done. No match for us, dude. Should have stayed home when you had a chance. Nice work, Evan. Is there anyone else? I don't see anyone. All right, victory. A fiery platinum axe. Cool. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna go around this mountain. Okay. Sweet, that looked like water for some reason. Level 22s. So the monsters are a little tougher out here. I'm definitely gonna have to level up now. Leave this to me. Oh, shoot. Out of my magic points. Dang, this level 22 Grim Chill is taking a while. Come on, dude. Not really fighting back. Sweet, I leveled up. I should. Definitely fighting the enemies that are tougher. Come on, Skeleplasm. Just go down. Ha! Oh, you're gonna come charging at me? Take three of these. Did they even shoot out? Doesn't even look like they came out. But I think I hit him. He said 32 three times. Alright. I'd rather fight the Wampster. The Gooby Guns are tough. Watch there are a lot of you. Awesome. Good job, Evan. Jump right towards enemies. Wow, Grimchilla? I didn't know Grimchillas could be tough like this. Sweet. I got your back rolling. Alright, Wapster. Another one down for the count. Whoa. Why are you flying around, dude? You willing to help us out? Nice move. Who is that? Nice, Tanny. Now you bust out the moon, now you're ready to heal us? Come on. A little late to the party there. Hey, but I'm fighting higher level enemies. There should be some better weapons. Dude, I do not want to mess with a level 23 mana core. I'll just fight the head town. So many of them. Rolling, dude. You gotta level up at some point. Dude, stop shooting fireballs at us. Ah, I'm actually gonna have to heal. It's pretty surprising. Turns out enemies are a heck of a lot tougher when they're four, three levels higher than you, whatever they are. Dang, Skeleplasm. Back off. This Hedgehound, man. He's really causing all the problems. Good. He's a little squishy. High damage. Good squishy. Do skeleton plasms. 
All right. Ten guilders. So you're giving a little bit more gold. Still no cool weapon. I don't want to fight you. Just leave me alone, Manticore. Just let me walk on by. Level 24 Grimchilla Banger in red. You do OP for me. We got this, though. You ready for this? Get him! Sweet. Nicely timed. Another one's coming your way. Ha! Yeah, heal us, dude. Do something. Okay. Are you gonna heal me? 50? That's something. I'll take it. Ouch! 151, man. I gotta keep my life in check. Alright. Evan took a little one. Took a little beating right there. But it's alright. He's back up. A punish and blunder buzzer? It's gotta be an improvement. 51! Huge improvement. Sweet. And Evan, you need to be healed, dude. You are low on life. We'll switch back to you. Can we make it to that enemy? I guess we're gonna have to fight first. It's all right. We could use the level up before we fight him. Are we gonna get one? Nice. That hit just about everyone. Just gotta focus one at a time. Sweet! Awakened. Alright. So apparently they're just... I guess it seems like they'll throw you out little like gold orbs and if you get the orb then you awaken. I'm not sure. But it came at a perfect time. Because I was definitely getting my butt kicked. Hey, and I'm full level, level 20, level 20, level 19, and we're going to fight a level 22. Yeah, I think we can handle it. If this guy's like the one in the forest, he doesn't nothing. move much, so we can just kind of dodge him and shoot. Yeah. 105, he's doing some damage though. Hey, are you dudes gonna uh, bust out the cannon or anything? Okay. Yeah. Heal us. All right. He's invincible or invulnerable. Come on, dude. Take out the shield. Nice. Good timing. But this some damage. All right. Nullified right on cue. Okay, we got the cannon. You're in trouble now. Nullified. So physical attacks are nullified, but the magic's getting through. All right, little green dudes. Bring Tanny back. Dude, any day now. All right, cannon guys. I'm counting on you. Nullified, nullified. 124. Decent. Are you guys not going to bring it back? I need your help. All right. I'm going to have to use an angel tier. Grief is like an angel, yep. Alright, she's back. Might want to actually heal her as well, since she has no life. Dude, stop with the invulnerability. Nice, hit him with that purple. 724! Alright, now we can go all out. Attack him! 
Dude. Ah. Serious. Wow. Her arrows are doing massive, massive damage. Better just do one at a time, that's fine. Did he just create a level 22? I think so. Come on. Alright, we'll just keep nailing you. Now there's three of you? You serious? Rolling, you're down for the count now. Hit him with the cannon. I'm not sure I'm supposed to deal with three of you. Hmm. Three leaves soar away? Okay. Probably gonna have to buy more of those. We're doing some damage now. Just keep targeting the real one. Maybe if we beat him, they all just kind of die. I'll just keep targeting you, dude. No matter how many you bring out, you bring out a hundred. Ha. Evan, will you just stay alive? I'm not asking for much. Come on, keep up the aim. Got it, got it done. Victory! So they split up, but you just gotta focus on the main one. 1,430 guilders, I like it. All right, we'll switch back to Evan, and we definitely need to heal. Man, Evan. You did not do so great. But we got what we needed. And we'll just warp back now. Dream and Camelin in. Chamomile in. Chamomile. But he was in the weapon shop, wasn't he? Hmm. All right, dude, after that battle, you better join. I did not just go and get my butt kicked for no reason. Welcome. Do you have any good weapons? I could use an upgrade. Gus proof plus 17. Wow, that's pretty good. Yep, we'll equip it. 38. So... Burning ring, burning pendant. Did he only have one? What about the sorcerer scepter? All right. Your time. Come back anytime. All right, dude. Hey. We did it. We defeated Mag Magnanimous. We really thank you. Then I suppose I must come to your kingdom and continue my training as a weapon maker, if you will still have me. Thank you. Hearing such words gives me great encouragement, and thank you also, sir. <laughs> Do not mention it, my boy. Just make sure you become a fine weapon maker, are you hear? Alright, we got him. Reward a cool longsword. Awesome, let's equip that bad boy. That's ridiculously stronger. Alright, nah. You'll take this. Just take that. We need to get rolling something good. And now you can take the fiery broadsword. Okay. At least Roland's got a better weapon now. One more person added to the town. Next crazy side quest. They say the fortune favors the wise traveler who stays at the dream and chamomile inn. 
Why not join the ranks of the wise this evening for a bargain of 20? Thank you, your room is upstairs. Yeah, we'll take a rest. We could use a little healing. <laughs> yeah, we had a good night's sleep. Hey, I recognize you. Evan, oh Evan, thank goodness you're all right. Persia, what are you doing here? Yeah. Well, you know, things got rather hairy back at the castle. I had to persuade a young man to hide me in his cart so that I could escape. The next thing I knew, here I was. Gosh, well, it's a relief to see that you're safe anyway. Yes. Oh, yes, they're taking very good care of me here, you know. Get ready for the side quest, Evan. No. <laughs> no reason for her to go to your town without a side quest. This is my first experience of life in another kingdom, but it seems some things are the same wherever you go. As long as you're willing to work for a living, you can't go oh. far wrong. That's wonderful to hear. By the way, I've started a new kingdom on my own. Would you like to come and join us there? Gosh, are you sure? I mean, it's a wonderful offer, but I don't even have a job here. <laughs> or I do have a job here. Don't be silly, Persia. The king himself has come to fetch you. I should be sorry to see you go, but how can I possibly stop you? But there is one last thing I would like you to do for me before you go. The string's attached. Could I ask you to sew a new quilt for one of the guest rooms? Hmm. I would be happy to, of course, but we're all out of thread. Oh, dear. All right. I can go and get you some thread, Persia. Thanks. Could you? Oh, that would be such a help. Four clumps of green glade cotton would be just perfect. <laughs> ah, we need cotton. In gold paw, Evan bumps into Persia. Yeah, an easy charm and eye for a deal that can boost the bazaar's productivity. Yeah, we'll make it our active quest. Just tell me where to get the cotton. Do you already have it? Let's find out. Yes. Bring me four clumps of green glade cotton. Would you, my dear, once I've gotten that, I can finish the quilt. Hand it over, yes, we already have it. Mm. Here you are, Persia. I brought you four clumps of green glade cotton, just like you asked. Thank you. Really, you did that for me? Oh, aren't you wonderful? I shall pay you back 100 fold when I come to your kingdom. Now let me just sew this quilt and I'll be ready to leave. This better be one good looking quilt. <laughs> Thanks. Excellent, now I'll be able to continue keeping my esteemed customers in the comfort to which they have been accustomed. <laughs> Thank you for all your hard work, Persia. My fortune favor you in your new home. Yes. Thank you, too. I don't know what I would have done without your kindness. Awesome. I gotta say, this part of the game, it's fun. It's picking up, going around, recruiting people, building a town. It really is entertaining. All right, let's just get this. Never know when you need coral pink thread. Oh, yes. Listen, Pai Chai. Becoming a truly first-rate seamstress calls for more than dexterity with a needle. You see, the key to our craft is to always consider the person who will wear the item we are creating. We must keep them in mind as we sew every stitch. Yes. Yes, madam. Yep, yep. I'll be sure to bear this in. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Is it, is it, are you Evan? King Evan? Well, yes, but I'm really just a normal person like you. Dude, you're a king. Normal? The savior of Goldpaw? Normal? You are a hero and the leader of a proud young nation. Wait, this is perfect. What do you think, Pai, Pai Chai? This could be the perfect opportunity for you to strike out on your own. <laughs> oh, madam, yip yip, you are absolutely correct. What luck and what wonderful timing. Excuse me? I'm awfully sorry, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. Gosh. Oh, I do apologize. We are forgetting ourselves. I'm Yip Yip, and this is Pai Chai. I work as a seamstress here in Goldpaw, and Pai Chai is my apprentice. And I have recently decided to leave Madame Yip Yip's tutelage in order to find full-time work. Which is what we were discussing when you appeared. It is perfect, is it not? This is destiny, I'm sure of it. Is it true, King Evan? Is it true that your kingdom is in need of skilled workers? If so, then I beg you to consider me. From darning socks to tailoring suits, I have skills aplenty. Hmm. Well, we'll always need new clothes, I suppose. And perhaps you could even help with making armor. Of course, we'd love to have you. Haha, <laughs> your decisiveness is truly worthy of one of your station, King Evan. It's a great relief to know that my dear apprentice will be under your command. In that case, your majesty, I must ask you for the binding thread. The binding thread? What's that? Another side quest? <laughs> it's a tradition here in Goldpaw for an employer to give a seamstress a skein of thread to mark their commencement of her employment. The thread represents the bond between master and servant, and it's said to ensure undying loyalty. 
<laughs> Custom is of great importance to us, King Evan. No stop respect and seamstress would start working for a new master without a binding thread. <laughs> I I see. These side quests and errands you make me run. <laughs> yes. And I would appreciate it very much if the thread you gave me could be grass green in color. Alright. Of course, leave it to me, Pai Chai. I should bring you some grass green thread right away. Wonderful. I'll be waiting your return. Get some spools of grass green thread. Alright. Do we have any? See you. I'll be waiting here. See you. Okay. Apparently not. Is there any indication on the map of where I need to go? Hmm. See you. Seriously? Where do I get that? I'm kind of surprised I don't already have it. Let's go in here to quest, just to look for a little bit more information. Pai Chai, Pai Chai's training as seamstress is at an end, yes. She'll need a binding thread. It doesn't give me any hints where to find it. Hmm. Oh! I should have asked her friend. Her friend might have said something. Duh. I have high hopes for young Pai Chai. She has great dexterity and remembers everything I teach her. She will become a fine seamstress one day, mark my words. Nope. It's just gonna remain a mystery. Alright, the other person is in this town. Let's go. Pickled pepper. Excuse me? Excuse me, may I ask you something? I'm looking for the one called Golden Warrior. Do you perhaps know who he is? Freaky! Craigie, there's a name and a half. I don't think I've ever heard it before in mine. Is there anything else you can tell us about this warrior character? Yes. They say he's a true leader of men, and that he has blonde hair and pointy ears. <laughs> blonde hair and pointy ears, eh? Remind you of anyone? Evan, my lad? Oh my goodness! Wait, that sounds like m me. Oh, you are younger than I expected, but now that you mention it, you do match the description. But I've never been called the Golden Warrior or anything like that. I'm sure you... Are you sure you aren't? Golden Warrior, please, please come and save us. Crikey. Crikey, she's proper pleading with you, Mun. Sounds to me like she's in a right pickle. Yes, right. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to help you, miss. Can you tell me the whole story from the beginning? So you will come and save us? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Hoi Din. I live here in Gold Pa in a quiet area from all the hustle and bustle. It was always a peaceful place to live until recently, that is. Now it's become terrorized by a horrible monster. What is more, most of the adults who live there work in other parts of the kingdom. Only children and old people remain, and they cannot hope to defend themselves. I was sent out to find someone, anyone who could assist in our hour of need, and I have found you. Please, you must come and help us. What do you reckon, Evan? I don't fancy her chances if she's waiting for this golden warrior bloke to come and help her. You're right, Lofty. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're gonna have to step into the breach. Don't worry, miss. We'll take care of this. Oh, oh, thank you. The monster always runs off after it's had its fun rampaging through our neighborhood. We believe it is lurking down in Typhic Cabin near the Heartlands. Typhic Cabin, alright. We'll go and deal with it. You wait here, Hoyden. Alright. This is a quest that actually has a blue arrow. Let's look at the map. Bigger picture map. Okay. Hmm. Let's go up here. I should have looked at the map for the other one. Might have given me a hint. After this quest, I can switch back. Alright, a bunch of level 13, so... These guys aren't a problem. Just let us pass. We're just moseying on through. 
how do we get that treasure chest? Just climb on up here? What? Oh, come on, dude. We're just trying to pass through. All right. I warned you guys. <laughs> that was quick work. Sweet. Maybe we can go up the other side of the mountain? Nope. This is not a mountain for climbing. There must be a different way up. Yeah, you actually are white. The other ones are one level below you and they're blue. And I win them in chase. Alright. We'll take a we'll take a few more experience points. Nice Roland, a little bit of uh, overkill there, but we'll take it. Okay, we're almost there. There's the cave. Ah, surprise attack. Not that it seems to make a whole lot of difference. We just turn around. There's got to be some kind of stats, right? Like defense is lower for like 30 seconds. Stop, you guys! Right. I wonder how powerful this monster is. He's in a cave surrounded by a bunch of level 13s. Is he going to be like a level 22? Ah, he's a blue monster. 23. Not quite, dude. Let me just save real quick. Alright. So I saved. Back in here. Ready to take on this guy. A level 23 Skeloplasm. Tainted Mortimer, huh? Watch your I have a feeling he's gonna do some big damage. You could say that again. Two hits and I'm beat. Dang. I definitely should have went to the uh, shop to get more Angel Tears. Sage's secret. Nope. Here we come. Yeah, dude's just crushing it. Wow. Good thing I got the upgraded weapon. Roland, you're just gonna have to do this one on one. Man, just gotta block it. Okay. So this guy's all about playing the defense. At least I know the strategy now. Woo! That one hurt. Kill me, dudes. Awesome. And I gotta get away. Get him, dudes. Four sixty three, I'll take it. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Dude, you're tough. 
Oh, come on, guys. Help me out. Get with the cannon. Okay, that hurt. Help me out, guys. This guy is freaking tough at my level. Get him, dudes. 295. Thank you. Man. What's about the cannon? Yes. That's exactly what I needed. Get him. Hit him, Roland. Get him while you're still powered up. Can't believe I might win this. I was so crushed. That's a comeback, dude. That is a freaking comeback. Wow. I can't believe I won that. And five angel tears. <laughs> Clearly, I need some. Of course, you weren't wrong about that monster being a nuisance, eh? The kids and old fogies won't stand a chance against that rotter. Mm. I'm sure Hoyden would be happy to know that I won't be troubling her people anymore. Now we just need to persuade her that I'm not the golden warrior. Why do you want to go and do a thing like that, Mon? It's a pretty tidy little moniker, if you ask me. I'd rather be known as the King of Evermore. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Happily ever after and all that. Fair dues. Was worth a try. Nice. Leveled up to 21 for <laughs> Roland. Roland, dude. You were a beast in that. I've got to give you credit. And we are running super low on all our items. Are there anything? Yeah, there are some stuff. There is an item or two in here that we might want to get. Like this wonderful piece of uh, plain cloth. Cloth. And a Higglebee. 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 A voice can be heard. Give me what I like. What do you want? Hmm. It's worth a try. And it did not work. Okay, it did work. A fire one. Frumius the Flammable has decided to join you. Awesome. Is he already in the party? It doesn't look that way. I have two of you, so I'll switch one out for Frumius, who's level one and carefree. Look at his attack stats. He's aggressive. Scrap, scrap. Imparts a slight boost to the power of regular attacks. Restores a small amount of hit to an ally, which is good. Higgledy Singe. A fire belching cannon appears. A fire cannon, yeah. Smite right. Significantly boosts the attack power of the player when awakened. I like it. Wrong button. Let's warp back to that town. All right, gold paw. So that's another recruit. I'll be what, three new recruits? Then I can look at the world map and see if I can get the other recruit. That was a tough battle. She knew what she was doing when she sent out the uh, great Evan here. Hello. We took care of that man monster Hoyden. Mm. I knew it, I knew the golden warrior would save us. Ah yes, about the golden warrior thing? I'm not actually. I'm sorry to interrupt, but I heard that there was a young lady looking for me. Is that you, perhaps? Mm -hmm. Oh, are, are you? Mm -hmm. You must be the real Golden Warrior. Some call me by that name, yes, but I prefer Ya Pai. Grandiose nicknames are beneath the general of the army of Gopop. Hoyden, I'm sorry I didn't make this clear earlier on, but I'm not the Golden Warrior. He is. Mm. Blonde hair. 
pointy ears. Oh. Is it true? Oh. Are you the master of all military matters? The man who has emerged unscathed from countless brutal battles? The one whose benevolence knows no bounds? <laughs> I would not go that far, but yes, it does seem that I might be the one you are seeking. Not that it seems my services are required any longer. Goatpaw thanks you, King Evan. My apologies that I could not assist you in the hour of need. I shall make my way to your neighborhood right away. I shall do everything that I can to ensure that the victims of the monster's rampage recover from their ordeal. Sweet, now she can come to my town. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you so much. I cannot believe it, what a foolish error to make. And jumping to the wrong conclusion, I put you in terrible danger. And what is more, I failed to recognize you as the king of Evermore. You are the one who is building a great new nation, yes? Oh, you've heard of what we've been doing? That's wonderful. But all is well that ends well. Our people are safe, and it's all thanks to you. I'm in your deck, King Evan. Allow me to come to your kingdom and do what I can in return. Mm -hmm. Of course, Hoiden. We'll be very happy to have you. Thank you so much. Sweet! A martial artist. A natural agility and intelligence that can help boost work at the Explorer's Guild. Awesome. We're getting these places stopped now. Alright, so let's go back to quest. We'll make this the active quest. And then go to the world map. Nope. Just a mystery then, huh? Man. So I'm going to go back to the quest board. And look at... These side quests, these are all completed. Top marks for trying, okay. And go to the library to see if there's anything new here. Citizen Almanac. Alright, so these are all people we already have. Trying to see if there's any hints to any other citizens we can get. Leaf book. Take a look at this photograph. Alright. Oh, Lady Luck, how can you bring me so much misfortune? <laughs> Alright, I don't see anything too obvious. go back to our town place those new recruits come on there it is three new people let's start we can collect some money too three thousand sweet huh. 18 new items. Citizens, you're putting in some work. Yep. The citizen isn't current isn't currently assigned. All right. So, the Explorer Guild. That's the barracks, mining camp. So, we're going to assign a citizen. Go for it. Can we research? Brisk Stroll puts a spring in your step, allowing you to whiz around the world with ease. So does this make you faster when you go around the world? Takes 70 minutes. All right. Verdant Farm. Sleepy Ranch. Hunting Lodge, yeah. Hmm. Still working on that spell. Hubble Bubbery. Anyone with an affinity to that? Let's see. Persia can boost your bazaar's productivity. Hmm. So, is she talking about like the general store? No, the humble bazaar. Okay. Suitable. Can we level up the facility now? Awesome. So let's see what kind of items we can get here now. 
If you press options, you can view claimable items. Okay. So, a bunch of crafting material. Can we level it up yet? Level 2. Kingdom. Okay. Not yet. Button Lumberyard. Fresh Fish Market. Can we level it up? Yeah, apparently we can. Alright, new personnel slots are open. So, new buy. You had weapon related work abilities. Ah, yes. Let's put you here. Completed research. Efficient weapon development has been completed. Now it's a little cheaper. Personnel. 75, and now we're at total IQ of 200. Awesome, I think that means we can do some more research. So that's ranged weapon development, quality weapon development, previous forging technique, boost an initial quality of weapons made by one. Let's just do the uh, range weapons. All right, let me just go around here and check to see if I can level up any of these. Nope. Level up facility. No, can't do it, okay. Level two. What about this? Kingdom, level two. Level two? All right, we already leveled you up, I think. And you, we can't level up kingdom level two or more. We're doing decent, we're starting to get some people. I just wanted to make sure that if I could level up facilities, I would. All right, we don't have enough money. 203, okay. We really spent our money, that's good. Let's go to the item shop and buy some angel tears. No, we already got five, but I do need to buy some Come sword to do ways. Some shopping, eh? Definitely. So you just have like the ground level basic sword way, huh? None of the good stuff yet. That's fine. I can just buy like 20 of them for a thousand dollars. Thousand G. What else can I do? For I'll be seeing you again then. We're good. All right, let's continue our quest then. Now we're gonna go look for that flower. I think the fastest way might be to go to this trip door. Now we can bust out that bridge spell. Piece of comfy cloth. All right, Grimchella. Let's do this. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Level 14. <laughs> Dang, Evan. I never healed you. That's right. Thanks for healing us, guys. Level it up just in time. A breezy ring. Alright, so we need to go this way. Dude, leave us alone. We're just trying to mind our own business. Careful, everyone. Alright, Evan. That's definitely a big sword I've got now. Nice. 233 damage. It's definitely doing some good damage now. Yeah, I need to just go up on the ramp here. Man, they're all coming out to fight. I just need to gain like two more levels and they're gonna want no part of this. this will be over no time. It's all right. Let's get a few more pieces of gold, some more experience. Dude, that was, yeah. 
That was fast. And Roland leveled up, so it was worth it. A gloomy Wolfram sword? Alright. We'll give you this uh, gloomy one. Still does 59 damage and does dark damage. Sweet. Now Roland's doing better on the weapon front. Guys, we just want to make a bridge. You probably want a bridge too, right? New areas to explore. New people to chase. Just leave me alone. Ha! We made it past you. Okay, 11th level 17 mana core. I don't think I'm going to get past you without a fight. Bring it. We should be able to handle this guy pretty easy. Nice dodge, Evan. Oh yeah, he's going down. Ben. Yeah, yeah. Easy. A piece of coarse grain lumber. I feel like that's a little better material. I'm counting on you. 42 guilders, okay. Give us some good piece of armor. A pair of twangy silk slippers. <laughs> right on cue. Let's go to the silk slippers and equip the twangy ones. Yep. You have better ones now. Everyone's got better boots and slippers. We're good. We're good. Ah, we have to go this way. Go to the place where you might think a bridge needs to be. Hint, hint, hint. The place where Bodley said the rose would be is just beyond here, isn't it? That is, my boy, and if I've ever stood somewhere and thought, where's the flippin' path? It's flippin' missing. It's by your... You're right. You cast the bridge spell. I'm gonna guess a bridge will appear. Yes! Get in, you little beauty. Wow, this skirmish. What level is it? Level 16. No way. We're not ready for any of that. There's the rose. A Hig Piggy Longsword? That looks awesome. A slight damage boost versus dragons. More crit makes critical hit slightly. Okay. We're getting that for a reason. Probably gonna fight a dragon soon, so I'm gonna equip it. You obtained a red, red rose. Sweet. So this is a red, red rose. I reckon so. Yeah, let's get it back to Bodley before she throws a proper strop, shall we? Awesome. Let me go to the tactics tweaker real quick. If you're not happy with how you've used your battle points thus far, you can always spend a few King's Guilders to reset them and see if another setup suits you better. Awesome, but I'm pretty okay with what I have right now. I just noticed the monster affinities here. You haven't increased it. Yeah, let's level it up. Okay, monster types. Solid body foals, golems, combat droids, slimy, natural. Dragon-like features, okay. Fairies and brutal foals, okay. So what was this one? The green one? Natural. And this is solid body versus slimy. I don't really care either way. I do want to upgrade dragon. In this one, we probably want to do like the fairies. Got it. So we can upgrade that one. And we need more points to upgrade this. All right, so we should do additional damage towards dragons. 
time to warp. Alright. We got your red, red rose. So now that we have the red rose, let's see what other random mission she decides to send us on now. I think she said she had three and this was the first one. First one took a little bit of time there, Taskmaster. Well, did you find a red, red rose for your bodly, wadly woo? Here you go. We found your red rose, okay? Yes, this is it. This is it. Wonderful. Mmm, magical. Mmm, beautiful. So red, so red, almost too red. This is what Bodley wanted, just what Bodley wanted. Hmm. Oh, Evan, dear, you are a lovely boy, a special boy, yes? Bodley hasn't been so happy in, oh, centuries. Uh, now it's time for you to do my second little favorite wavery woo. It will be dangerous, yes, very dangerous, ooh. Have you heard of incineraptors? Fire we, we are, why are we horrible hot dragons? Horrible, hmm. I want an Incineraptor's horn. Yes, it's a horny warny woo. Okay, dude. Lady, you want us to fight dragons for you? And you know what you need to get it, don't you? Yes, you'll have to hit one. Hurt it, beat it black and blue. Hee hee. <laughs> Them's the lousy losers that make their homes over Cloud Coil Canyon way. Arr, we know where to find him well enough, and we know it's to steer well clear. The fiends will burn you to crisp soon as look at you. Oh. Noisy man, nasty man, stupid, cowardly, hairy man. Use a watery spell, yes? Kills them just like that, yes? Simple. Huh. Exploit their weakness, huh? Yeah, that makes sense. I think we might be able to develop something along those lines back home. Why don't we give it a shot? Don't care what you do, but bring it, yes? Bring me a horny, warning, 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 woo. Here, present for you. You obtained a secret supplement. What's this? Don't know what's in it, but you'll need it. Bodily can tell. Hmm. All natural, all wonderful, all peril for serum for silk, smooth skin, and nourishing nutritional nineties. Bodily special secret supplement, yes? You'll know what you need it, dear. You'll know. Hmm. When the time is right, yes. Uh, uh sure. The time to do what exactly? Um. Yeah, um, I'm not sure we'll work it out. Alright. Let's run away and bag us one of those scally swabs. I know the way well enough. Follow me, dog G. Well, did you bring me an Incineraptor's horny woo? No, we haven't found it yet. Maybe give me time to actually leave the building? Man. So back to our town. We gotta make that uh, new water spell, I guess, to beat the dragon. if we have that water spell available yet or if it's something we still need to research. Alright, Evan. Water balloon. We need a calmly coral. Conjures up a ball of water that is hurled at enemies. Okay. We don't have enough enemies. Or don't have enough materials. Got it. Alright, well this is a good place to stop. Thanks for checking out part 9. Uh, be sure to check out part 10 when we go fight that dragon and complete yet another bodily task. Alright, later.